Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right. How are you, man? Good, good. Down. Uh-huh. Up. Uh-huh. Isn't that cool? That is cool. With my right foot, I can raise it up, lower it down. For the first time in 45 years since, uh, you know, Vietnam, I'm able to use my left hand, which is very emotional at times. When I first did it, yeah. golly, it was so great to pick something up and hold it. Uh -huh. It sounds simple, but it was everything. No, no. I'm flexing my wrist right now. Now I'm standing on my toes to close my hand, standing on my heel to open it. Huh? This, this device is completely modular. So if you've lost a hand, we can give you a hand. If you've lost three quarters of your arm, we can give you three quarters of an arm. Mm -hmm. It's the most advanced prosthetic arm the world has ever seen. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thumbs up. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is transformational. Uh, obviously, as uh, has been noted, we've never seen anything like this before. And um, Fred Downs has been through an awful lot of uh, these uh, different possibilities over, over many years. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, all of the intelligence is, is, is in the hand and, and the processing that goes on is there in the hand. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the reasons why that's important is that it enables us to create this modular system. Mm -hmm. If we had distributed the, the electronics throughout the arm, we wouldn't be able to have that modular capability. The DARP Robotics Challenge was inspired by the Fukushima disaster after the, the tsunami in Japan, they had a very, very serious problem with the nuclear reactors, with heating, with hydrogen, with explosions. So we set up this challenge. It started with software work, and then it evolved into what was called the DARPA Robotics Challenge Trials. This robot had to do things like remove rubble. It had to turn valves. It had to put a fire hose on. This thing had to be able to get itself up and down a ladder about 10 feet, which was interesting. It would take them a long time to do that. Imagine a, a, a factory floor or a warehouse floor.